Hello everyone, welcome to Econometrics, I'm Sebastian Y. In this video I'm going to show you how to create binary or dummy variables based on categorical and other types of data and then use those in a simple regression. We've got our cars data set loaded up again. Taking a look at our data browser, you can see variables that are strings or words are shown in maroon text instead of black like the numbers are. We've got origin, make, and model that are all strings. We might want to use some of this information in a regression, but of course we cannot put variables that are not numbers into a regression. So we're going to talk about how we do that today. Suppose we are interested in estimating the impact of a car being made in Europe on the price. So first we're going to have to make a European dummy variable. Remember that dummy variables have a value of one if it fits the category and zero if it does not fit the category. We're gonna to need to use logical statements to do this. I'm gonna make a new variable. So we're gonna use gen, and you can call this anything you want. I'm gonna call it euro for European car, equals, now we're going to make a logical statement. Stata will convert any logical statement into a one for true and zero for false. And so we're going to put in the statement origin, double equals, in quotes, Europe. Make sure you're very careful when you're typing this in because strings are case sensitive. The other thing to remember is we're using the double equal sign here, which is our logical equals. Single equals is for an assignment and double equals is for logic. I always recommend you check out the data browser and make sure your dummy variable work properly. Dummy variables going wrong is one of the most common mistakes that I see in running regressions. It's really easy to make a typo that makes all of your values go to zero. You can see here that ours is working fine. We've got ones where the origin is Europe and zero if it's Asia or USA. Now we can go ahead and run a regression of price on Euro. The interpretation here is that non-European cars, we would predict have a price of about 15,000 and then a European car, we will add 11,681 to that. We can use the stored values to get the exact prediction. So remember we use underscore B, constant first, and then add our coefficient for Euro. For the coefficients, we always multiply by the value that is gonna sit next to that, but Euro is just one or zero, so if it's European, it's just gonna be one. I don't have to put anything there then and we're gonna predict 26,844. The other way that you could do this is to make a dummy variable for not European. Mathematically, it doesn't matter which one you pick, but remember you always just have one or the other in the regression. I can generate a variable, we'll call it not Euro, and that's going to be equal to another logical statement, origin, but now we want not equal to Europe. We always use an exclamation point in programming to indicate not. I can now run the regression of price on not euro, and you can see that mathematically we get the exact same predictions. Now, not euro has the same coefficient but negative as compared to here, and you can see that for the European cars, a zero is gonna sit next to that not euro coefficient, that's gonna go away, and we get the exact same prediction that we did in our model before. So mathematically, it does not matter which one you pick, you just have to remember how to interpret it properly. You can also create dummy variables based on numerical variables if you want. So for example, we could create a variable called high horsepower, and that could be equal to horsepower is greater than 150, let's say. Let's check that out and see that when the horsepower is lower, we have a zero and one if it is higher. And then we could run a regression of price on high horsepower. And we get our coefficients here that make a prediction based on that. As expected, we can see that the high horsepower cars are expected to have a higher price than the lower horsepower cars. In this video, we've talked about how to create dummy variables and then use them in a regression. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Thanks for watching.